Hi and welcome back to another video from Effective Dashboards. This is video 3 of our mini course on how to configure and set up a bullet chart. So in video 1 we set up the chart and we did carried out some conditional formatting and looked at the different values in the field well, which I'll click here, that are available. And video 2 was all about states and setting up these states that are behind the, um, the, the value bar here. Um, we set these up and looked at the options for setting these up either by typing in the values straight into the the, um, the visualization formatting options or using measures or in our example here I used some calculated columns to dynamically set these states based on this target value here. So this next video is now an extension and we're going to look at two things. We're going to look at how we can set up a legend to explain what each one of these states are. And we're also going to look at another option that's available here, which is this, is this comparison value. Okay, so in the previous video, I explained that the the legend, the, the states have been set up here. And what I like to do is I like to set an activity or that or point towards what um, a course of action would be if a piece of equipment is performing within one of these states here which has not met the target. So it's either here or here or here. So we can see here for, for each one of these sets, states that I've set up, you can see here if it's in state one, which is below 70%, then we're looking to replace the unit. If it's in state two, it's a full reliability review. If it's in state three, then it's pretty close to the target here. So we're not really too, too fussed. And then we've got up to 100% is it exceeds the target. And then we've got this max value here. Okay. Now, in fact, I think I've got these descriptions slightly mixed up. I'm just going to go and change these. I'm going to pause the video and change these. Okay, so I was just updating these because I've got to remember that this is the actual upper boundary of that, um, of the, um, the, the, the state here. So I've just changed those um, up to 80%. It needs a reliability review, so that would be up to this point here. Remember, it's 80% of this target, not 80% of the actual value. Um, and then if it's close to the target here, then that's going to be this maintenance review. And then if it's over the target, which is this one here, up to 100%, then it's going to be you know, fine. We're pretty close to that target. And then this is just a filler that was put in if it's over the target. Okay, so... We, um, we've done that, and the next thing we need to do is think about how we can display what these bands mean on the screen. So at the moment, the legend that we've got, if we go back in here, legend is on, um, and it's only really got the two values here. It's got the availability and it's got the target. It doesn't display any of the values that have been added in here. Okay, now you, you can do that. But you need to pay for it. Okay, so there is an option here to go and get more visuals. Um, I'll just quickly show you this. If I type in bullet. Okay, struggling to spell there. Okay, so there's this option here, and that option there does have the option to display the states in the the legend, and it's probably why you've got to pay the extra for it. But for just now, we're not going to go for that. I've got another option. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and I'm going to get this cluster chart here. Uh, in fact, no, I'm going to get this stacked chart here. And I didn't want to change that. I want to create a new one. And I'm going to go and in the values, I'm going to pull in each one of these. And you can see as we pull it in, these values start to band up. Okay, and guess what's here? We've got a legend here. So what we'll do is just tidy this up a little bit and we'll get rid of, or we'll change the title at the top here. And we'll just change that to um, availability. We'll just call this performance. Um, and then this one here, we're going to change the title to be called Legend. Uh, 
and then I'm going to get rid of a few bits and pieces here. So it's just a case of configuring this. We don't need the x-axis, we don't need the y-axis. We'll leave the legend on. We don't need the title. Um, the title's off, data labels are off. Um, I'm not 100% sure what this bit at the bottom is. Let's see. Data's off, plot data's off, title's off, background. Ah, I know what it'll be. It'll be the x axis. You still need to turn the title off. Here we go. Okay, so that is the, the legend. Okay, so a couple of things we'll do. We'll just go in and I'm going to just update these descriptions here. I'll pause the video while I do that. Okay, so I've updated the values to or the descriptions. So we can see they are a little bit closer to what we need. We might just need to play with the actual legend text size a little bit. Um, there we go. Okay, and then we can make it slightly smaller there. Um, right, perfect. So that's has now got a legend, and then we'll move that into the bottom there, and it kind of blends in nicely with that. The next thing we're going to do is we need to just change the colours. So again, I'll pause the video while I do that because I need to go and copy each one of these colours into here. Okay, so I haven't actually updated the colours yet, but there's something I just thought was interesting as I was going through this. So if we go into this state here and go to custom colour, that is BBB. The next one up is CCC. And I am, you're not going to be a genius to figure out this one's going to be DDD. So actually updating this colours here should be hopefully fairly straightforward. If I go to custom colour, let's just see if this works. BBB, here we go. Oh, now we can see it's been updated. Uh, let's go back in to data colours. Yep. So it's just a case of that makes it even easier. CCC, etc. So I'll go and update these. Okay, so it turns out that the last colour is different, slightly different, it's F2, F2, F2. So let's just finish off that. Just copy that from there, go back to our legend, go back to data colours, add that in to the custom colour. And it's a little bit difficult to see the difference between these two here, to be honest. But I think you get the idea. Um, we can see here we've now got a legend that represents what each of these bands means. So you can add a title to this, you can add perhaps even sort of centre the legend. That might be top centre, it might be a little bit better there. Um, and then you can add the title here. Legend. Let's move that to the side there. Um, okay, so, in fact actually that legend is not here. It's the chart title we want. Let's switch this on. Legend, yeah, that's what we want. Okay, so that's the first thing I want to cover in this video, and then the next thing is the comparison value. So I've just added in another field here, which is availability of rolling 12 months last year. And if we go back into here, and I'm going to pull that into there. And you can see that something has happened here. So what it's done is it's actually gone and put this overlay bar and we can see that we've now got the availability as it was last year. So you can see if it's higher or lower than the target uh, and the performance last year. So that color is a little bit, um, a little bit bright. Um, you can go in and obviously you can, um, you can change the, the, the data target, the availability target here. So let's have a look at some of the options we've got. This one here. That's probably a little bit too wishy-washy. You can look at that one there. There's maybe just a little bit too much information now that we've got the the sort of the three different options. So um, I've just reverted that to default. Let's just undo that. Um, so it's there. It's available. Um, I, I'm not 100% sure if it's actually giving you too much extra. I think it might just confuse the issue, which, because to me that one there maybe looks like the the performance, and this one might be last year's. 
we've got we have got the the legend here, which is helpful. Um, let's see if there's any other colours just before we kind of dismiss this all together. Yeah, we'd need to play about and find out what that colour is. But ultimately, you can use this, and you can add in a comparison from last year, which could be helpful um, in a, a number of the different situations where you're interested in seeing the the, the year on year um, performance and comparison. So let's just take it off for just now. Um, it's there, it's available, um, but we'll, we'll we'll just leave it like that for just now because I think that is actually what we need for our purposes. So the overview and the upshot of it is we've got one, two, three, four units that we're quite happy with. We can see that the performance is well above or meeting the expectations here. We've got one unit here and we can see it's fairly close. It's just falling into this category here. And if we look at what that category is, we can see it's... Um, it, well, it just sort of tickles on the border of a maintenance review, so you might want to go and actually carry out a review of the maintenance that's carried out against this piece of equipment. This one's over. This one is fairly close to the target, so there's um, close to the target, so there's no no requirement here. And this one here is just basically looking at the state that is this value here. Um, so again, it's probably, we could probably use different colours here, but you get the concept. So it's sitting in here, which is a full reliability review. Okay, so it's in that 80% range. It's between, um, and this is now, it's up to 80%, between between 70 and 80% of this target value here. So that's given as a clear course of action that we would look to take for that particular unit. Okay, so again, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Add any comments below if you um, if you use any of these bullet charts for in, in your role and um, let us know how you can use them or if you've got any other handy hints and tips that you could share with anyone that's looking at this video. That would be great, and myself. And if you want to subscribe and keep up to date with the latest videos, then click that subscribe button and click the bell so you get a notification. Thanks for listening and I'll talk to you in the next video.